So there's five things that I believe are the foundational pieces that we should be aspiring to in our lives. And the first one, which is really the most important one, is faith. I will tell you first and foremost that, uh, you know, growing up, even though I grew up in a household where my parents taught us the importance of faith and what that should be in our lives, uh, it was never a priority, never never a number one priority in my life. And, and in fact, even into my 20s and in my early part of my 30s, um, it was never number one. As I've gotten older and had some life experience, as I've become a father to four children, I will tell you that in my maturity of the areas of my life, faith has really become the cornerstone of who I am and why I lead the way that I do. And I've tried to do this on my own. I've tried to, to read enough books and I've tried to listen to enough people, but those foundations were always weak. And so I learned and continue to learn that if my, my foundation is in my faith, that at least I know out of everything that I have that I can fail at, at least that I have a, a strong foundation. So what does it mean to be bold? What do you guys think that means? Give me an example of it. Fearless. All right, so when you think of being bold and you think about Jesus, like, do you think Jesus was bold? Was it a little bit like, I don't even know if I should do this, right? Being kind of bold and making bold decisions, right? Can I get a nod? Like, yes or yes, right? Like, are some of the things that you have to do at school and some of the things, the decisions that you got to make when you're playing sports, are they kind of a little bit scary? Like, are you... Are you are you maybe taking a little bit of faith that it's gonna be okay, right? You know, in that journey, one of the things that I have truly tried to um, take ownership of is this theory of being known more for what we stand for than what we stand against. It's so easy in a world where we're so divisive when we can pick out all of the things that we don't stand together with, that maybe you stand for something that is contrary to what I stand for. We forget that we have so many things in common. We have, we have so many things that actually unite us and we choose to use the one or two things that divide us to destroy that relationship, that friendship, and it becomes very destructive. You know, my father taught us a long time ago that we wanted to have this idea of being ecumenical in our lives, meaning that we wanted to be um, inclusive, not exclusive. That just because we might be of a certain faith uh, in our Christianity, and, and you might be in a certain faith of your Christian in your, in your Christianity, that we had a lot of commonalities, and we weren't going to use that to divide us. That we wanted to be inclusive because we knew that when we were inclusive, that we could do so many more great things together. You know, one of the things that, as I've grown in my personal faith, is the importance of doing this on a daily basis. Um, you know, I've, I've given you my morning routines before, and in my maturity, I've also learned that there's certain things I need to prioritize above the other ones. You know, I used to wake up in the morning and go straight to the gym, straight to the fitness part, the getting energized part. I realized what I was doing was, I was taking what I kept on saying was my number one thing, my number one priority, my faith, and I was making it number two, and I was making it number five, and sometimes it wouldn't even get into the top five because the day would just completely explode on me, and then the last thing I knew, it was, 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, and I still hadn't taken any time to develop that foundational piece in my life. And so I had to have a really hard conversation with myself. I really had to sit down and say, okay, if, if, my, if my actions don't align with what I say is to be true, then I'm not living in, in this thing of integrity that we talk about. And so I had to make a decision. I had to be disciplined in this decision that I was going to prioritize the things in our lives. And don't we do that all the time? Don't we say one thing and unfortunately do another? Don't we say that we are prioritizing a certain aspect of our lives, maybe one of those five foundational pieces, but our actions don't align with it? And so as you are growing that spiritual part of your life, as you're growing that prayer part of your life, I would implore you, it is so important. Be thankful. Take time to be thankful. God wants to hear your prayers, so be, 
talking about the prayers, the needs and the wants that you have, the desires that you have. He put them there for a reason, by the way. But then also take time to be silent, be quiet, be still, and just listen. Just be.